Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial. So, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the making of a simple Roblox house. So, we might go in depth, I'm also going to show a few tips in here as well, which will allow you guys to make your building on Roblox a bit easier. So if I hit base plate, it's going to generate us a big build, where we're going to be doing our building. So I am logged in as my main Roblox account. And also guys, if you notice here, I'm moving rather fastly. I am using Zoom as well. But I move really fast. If I want to move slower, if I just hold shift, I go noticeably slower. So that's a good way to slow down if you need to. So that's a good thing to know, guys. So one thing I like to do is I like to prepare my base plate a bit more. You see this here? This doesn't look nice. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to prepare my base plate by doing this. So I'm going to go to my size. We set 2048 2048 by 1 by 2048. So the maximum size for any block is 2048 by 1 by, well, 2048 by 2048 by 2048. So we're going to kind of go for that limit there on our um, Y, X and Z, sorry, thing. And we're going to go to our position. We're going to set our X and Y. We're going to set our Y. So we're going to be at 0, 0, 0. Essentially the centre of the world. So this here, this is how I like to do it because we've got a nice fresh place plate. So I'm going to make a part. And we're going to send it to 0, 0, one. So if I go to zero zero one, of course our part here is actually in the middle of the world. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to make this a smaller piece. Also, by the way, in here I normally have it set to ten degrees and zero point two five studs. So that's something you can use, but you can also make those numbers up and down. Uh, but those are the numbers I like. So if I come over here. Because we're going to be building our floor first. And I'm going to kind of get a rough idea. Oh, one more thing I'm going to do with the base plate. Is I'm going to set the colour to forest green, parsley green, dark green, sea green, bright green, earth green. Earth green will do. And we'll set the material to grass. Because then, I think I might make that darker actually. Mm, yeah, I might, you want the colour to be camo, I think, yeah, camo, uh, so that's the best colour. So I'm going to save this floor, I'm going to make it, um, it's going to be wood planks. I think I'm going to give it a standard wood colour, so I'll give it a neon orange, mm, no, um, bright orange, brown, yellow orange, CGA brown, reddish brown, cork, Pinecone, dirt brown, bronze. We also have. Mm, I don't know. I think we'll go for cocoa. No cocoa. Um, we'll go for that. That looks good. And we'll do smooth no outline. So we've got a nice wood floor there. So I might make it a bit brighter. But that's ooh, too bright. Mm, I want to go for a dark oak sort of feel to it. That's the kind of colour I'm going for. So we've got kind of like a wood floor now, which actually looks quite nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, because we've got our floor, um, I think I'm going to make our walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a brick wall, I think. Yeah, we'll have a brick wall. So you want to make sure it's either in there. I would normally go on the line, because that's just a bit better. I'm going to have these walls one block thick. Um, normally I'll do thicker walls, but I'm I'm gonna stick with these thick walls for now. Also, I don't know how exact this is, so let me just check. So if I hit um, studs for now, we can make sure that it's exact how we want it. So I would say that's how I want mine to be in all the corners. So I'll just go back and say that it is no not. We'll have smooth no outline. And we will continue over here with our piece. 
here that we're going to come we're going to select we're going to come up here and we're going to make sure it's scaled to the correct and needed size on either end so I don't think that looks like so I'm, right, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller so currently it's just a process of trial and error trying to get the right size um, I want it to be yeah that looks right so I'm, I'm going to go with that right uh, what's our size so you want to make sure it's all the same size around just because then um, you don't bump into any problems so I'm going to say it's brick a red brick not too red a bit darker smooth no outline uh, I think I might make it a bit of a even darker brick no that's too dark no no I might make the house painted shall we make a painted house the house is just going to be white they've, they've painted it white okay that's fine by me and we'll bring up a bit this is going to be a one floored house so we'll just go like that that would be alright I would assume we'll go D and that would give us another one and when actually we keep doing D I'll actually change the pan but we don't need all those so we'll just go like that actually we'll put a Y again so we'll just D one more time and we'll bring it over to this kind of area and we'll pull out to there we'll pull out by a bit and then we'll pull in there so that kind of levels it out a bit which is something you always want to do by the way guys so yeah um, that's something you will always want to be trying to do otherwise you'll probably end up causing problems later on down the line so if I say D now what we can actually do is we can move a wall over here like that and line it up and then what we can do now if we really wanted to we can do D we can move it over here and I want to move that in by another one there we go but we're going to be making a few cool little changes so we're going to be dipping in to about here mm, I think yeah we'll go to about there and we'll change that to there so now over here we're going to duplicate this and we're going to bring this over to this size and bring this through just there so it kind of makes a little um, little area there we're going to make kind of like a nice little area that we can come outside and we can stand on so we'll hit D, we'll move to our move tool and move like that and then here we'll actually spread to here we'll kind of go to about there that looks good I think that looks good and we'll pull it out in fact I think we'll have it all the way over to there yeah I think that looks good and we'll just pull it out like that and we'll be working with this a little bit as well so um, next I think we're going to finish off our main um, house area so how I'm going to do mine is I'm going to um, the door's going to be here so I'm going to make some blocks to kind of indicate where everything's going to be so I think we're going to have some stairs no we're not going to have stairs what am I thinking um, right, we'll have a corridor here that will will actually make it so you can go straight through to the living room I think or the kitchen I don't know don't know how we're gonna do this um, also guys with a build like this you might actually want to have your collisions on I don't normally have mine on but I do recommend you do have them on um, however I'm not going to use them simply because oh dear I don't want to use transform that gets on my nerves a lot so I'm not going to be using collisions but I do recommend you use them but I don't like using them because they can cause me a bit of hassle when I'm building 
So here I'm also going to do it up to the same height. About, and then we'll come over here. We can actually put it straight up to the wall there. We can actually check the height. Make sure it's at the correct height. And we'll pull back a bit to that there. That looks, that's looking good. So now I'm going to separate a few things. So we're going to come through here. So here I think we're going to have a joint kitchen and dining room. I don't know why, I'm just going to do that. So we'll do there. We'll move it out of it just because then we don't have any problems. There we go, that's looking good. And we will notice that it's actually sometimes the sizing will be a bit off. Um, so here I've actually probably done my sizings wrong, I think. Yeah, I have. So if I move them back down to how they should be, um, we can continue without any problems. So we'll have our wall there. And I think this here will be our kitchen slash dining room and living room so we'll go oh oh dear put that back where it was and we'll just slide it back in making sure we get the measurements correct correctly because I've all my measurements right <laughs> sorry guys I'm messing up here Oh, this is messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Okay, we're just gonna have to have things going through things. That'll have to do. Um, so here we'll have a living room, and we'll do a separation here, because then we will have a small bedroom which we need I think so we'll put a small bedroom in like this and we'll also actually I'll move that in a bit I'll probably make like it just to make it like a separator there and we'll hit D and then we'll build our wall in between the two bedrooms have to be exactly right guys it just has to be decent I would say um, so if I just make this a bit tidier there we go and we'll move this out to the end and I think we'll put a door here to go into the living room And we'll also start bridging it so it looks a bit, so the house looks a bit more supported, like that. So we'll make that a barred entrance. And also, this is why you don't want to have it flickering. You don't want to have it so touching because then we'll have it where it's flickering. We don't really want that because that doesn't look very good on us. So we'll also do a smooth no outline here so it doesn't look bad. The corners don't really matter too much, the areas where it connects, kind of like this, yeah, it matters, so um, I'll just put it there, there we go, that looks better. And then we'll use this, control D, we'll rotate them, like this, we'll link up here with this little area here and we'll make sure that it doesn't go into walls just because then it looks more professional because we don't want clipping errors which is what they're actually called by proper name so they actually are they actually are called clipping errors or clipping glitches for clipping errors because it's an error and what we've done here is we've actually got something that's off-centered 
so what we'll do is we'll switch to point point one where we can correct it a bit better okay so it looks so we can correct it because it got a bit off centered so now if we do that it looks a bit better so i might actually just extend these let's wall out a bit and we'll extend that through and actually switch it back to 0.25 so there is our house design like so this is kind of gives us an idea of what the house will be like <laughs> so we've got a nice looking house there and i'm actually going to quickly go in anchor it all down and i'll actually hit play so we can have a look at it so we actually land on the house um also, by the, way, by the way, you do like do you like my avatar? It's a Star Trek themed one, so because I quite like Star Trek Next Generation, so I've been got that. So if I come through here, we've got this little area here. So this is going to be the bathroom. <laughs> this is going to be your bedroom. This is the living room. This is going to be the kitchen slash dining room. This is just a corridor which I kind of like because it separates it a bit and then out here is going to be kind of like a nice porch area so guys I, I know I haven't done that much this episode but I think we've made a nice start um, and some of you guys might be able to get an idea of how it might look when it's done so in the next episode we're going to be going through we're going to be tidying things up a bit we're going to improve on this area here. We're going to put a roof on, hopefully, and a bunch of other things. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye.